let us see how we can find out the area of a circular annulus which looks something like this annulus is kind of a ring with certain width and since it is a ring it is formed by subtracting the area of one smaller circle from one bigger circle note that here if the whole circle was gray at the start and then if we took out the green circle area from it we will be left with the annulus now note that the centers of both these circles are coinciding that means the center of both the circles is the same now how do we proceed on finding out the area of these two circles now i will draw the radius of the smaller circle again since uh, it was not showing so this is the radius of the smaller circle in blue and in the orange we see the radius of the larger circle let's just use some variables but before that can i just write a quick equation here mentioning area of annulus area of annulus to be equal to area of a bigger circle minus area of a area of the smaller circle now for the bigger circle let's say this orange radius let's say this orange radius is capital r and let's use 8 cm for it and if the blue radius is say 5 cm and let's say this is small r how can we calculate the area so area of the annulus is equal to area of the bigger circle which will be equal to pi times the larger radius which is capital R square minus area of the green circle which is a smaller circle with radius small r which is equal to 5 centimeters so pi times small r square now we will rearrange this equation to look nice we see that pi appears in both the terms so we want to write pi outside and inside the bracket we will write capital R square minus the small r square usually what people mistake this for is this is how they write it pi r minus small r square so there is no bracket square remember the square is individually distributed on both the red eye here now let's calculate the answer for this question so if capital r is 8 centimeters and small r is 5 centimeters how will the answer look like so we have pi times 8 square minus 5 square and the value for this is pi times the square of 8 is 64 minus square of 5 is 25 that would mean this is pi times 39 or better way to write this is as 39 pi just remember if you did pi times capital R minus small r bracket square your answer would be 8 minus 5 bracket square which will be 9 pi and this will be a wrong answer so don't put bracket square here always remember to have a square of the larger one minus square of the smaller one now an interesting thing comes to my mind also note that because this is square minus square there is another way to solve this so we have 8 square minus 5 square this resembles the formula a square minus b square which is a plus b times a minus b and so if we apply that formula we will be able to write this as pi times 8 plus 5 times 8 minus 5 so this is another way in which you can solve this so this will be pi times 13 times 3 and you can simply write 39 pi now note that what if we were only given with the width of the annulus will we be able to solve this if we just know the width of the annulus in this case this will be 3 and if we just know the width that is basically the subtraction of the two red eye so that means if we just knew capital R minus small r we won't be able to find out the area of the annulus because we also need to know capital R plus small r in order for this formula to work so remember in order to be able to find out the area of the annulus you will need to know the radius of the larger circle as well as the smaller circle 